Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Izuku from My Hero Academia. So let's get started just above the center of the page with the eyes. So I'm going to get started on the left side with an oval. Starting from the top, we'll work our way down to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to leave a large gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the top of the eye, and then draw that same sized oval. On the top left of each iris, I'm going to draw a circle for highlights. So we're going to tuck this up against the edge of the eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Now let's draw a smaller oval in the inside for the people. So I'm going to tuck this in underneath the highlight, starting at the bottom, go around, up, and then in towards the side. We'll do the same thing on the right, starting from the bottom of the highlight. Now we're going to fill the pupils in black. Now let's draw on the outside edge of the eyelid. So we're going to start on the top of the left eye. We're going to curve around and then down. So it's almost like a large C shape. We're just going to pull that up slightly on the inside. Let's do the opposite on the right. Starting from the top, we'll work our way around and then slightly up. Now just above the eyes, we're going to add an eyebrow. So directly above the left eye, I'm just going to curve down and then in. Just going down above the pupil and then in. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Let's start on the inside, curving up and then out. In the middle here, we're going to step down and draw in a point for the center of the mouth. From this point, I want to curve up and then out towards the left. And we'll go back to the center and curve up and out towards the right. Now that we got the face, let's draw on the side of the head. So from the side of the eyes, we're going to step out and curve down towards the bottom of the chin. So let's start on the left side. About halfway down the eye, we're going to step out, start with a point, and we're going to curve down towards the chin. So it's almost like a large half circle. Curve down. Now we're going to work our way back up towards the right. From the top of the cheeks, I want to draw a short curve coming in. Now from here, we're going to go around the eye and up. Starting on the left, we're going to go around the eye, then just up above the eyebrow. Do the same thing on the right, going up and then around. Now let's add some hair bangs. Starting on the left side, I'm going to curve down towards the eyebrow. I'm going to pull that back up, so we're going to taper this back up. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving down towards the eyebrow, and then we'll pull that back up. Now we draw a large one going over towards the right eye. Curving down towards the inside of the eyebrow. And we'll taper that back up. We're gonna do one in the opposite direction. Curving down towards the eyebrow. Taper back up. Now in this little gap here, I'm just gonna fill it in with one more hair strand. Coming down towards the eyebrow and then back up. Now let's go to the side of the cheeks and draw some freckles. So just directly below the left eye, we're gonna draw a circle. We're going to step down, draw a tiny another circle. Now in between, we're going to go to the sides and draw one more. We'll do the same thing on the right, so directly below the eye. Step down, and then from the middle, we're going to go out towards the left, and then the right. Now we're going to tuck the ears on the side of the head. So from this point on the left, we're going to step down, we're going to curve up, and then out. We're going to do the same thing on the right, so we're going to step down, curving up, and then out. Now we're going to round out the ears. So from the top, we're going to step down, curve out towards the left, and we'll pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then I'm going to draw a little curve for the inside of the ear, just hooking it down. I'm going to go back to the eyes and just thicken up the upper edge of the eyelid. So at the very top, I just want to taper it down towards the side. So we step up, curving around, and then just tapering it down towards the side. Now we're gonna fill up the top area in black. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top, let's taper out, and then in towards the side, and we'll fill that all in black. Now that we've drawn the face, let's work our way around the hair. So I'm gonna start just below the earlobes, 
Just on the inside corner right here, we're gonna curve down and out towards the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're just gonna bounce back and forth so we're balancing this out as we go. Now from here, I'm gonna hook this back up towards the ear. I wanna leave a little bit of space on the inside. I'm gonna do another curve, a little shorter one going out. And we'll hook that back in towards the ear, towards the side. Again, leaving a little bit of space. And then from here, I'm gonna curve down in the opposite direction. Just a short curve coming down. Now I'm gonna pull this up just above the upper edge of the ear. So coming in. Now we're gonna work in the larger spikes. So from this point, I'm gonna curve up and out towards the left. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna taper this back in with a short curve. Now let's go back to the left side. I'm gonna add a larger spike, curving up. We'll go to the right side. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going out towards the right to the same height. Now from here, I'm gonna curve back in. On the right side, we're gonna curve over in the opposite direction. Let's go back to the left and draw another spike, going up. On this side, we're gonna curve in the same direction, going over towards the right. And then from left, we're gonna pull this back in towards the top of the head. Right about there. The same thing on the right side. Now on the top left, we're gonna curve it over in the opposite direction. Curving over towards the left. Now I'm gonna pull this down and over towards the right. Coming down towards the top of the head. We're gonna add one more spike in here. Curve up and over. Now I'm gonna take this point and just curve down to the outside on the right. Now from here, I'm gonna add the edge of the shading on the lower half of the hair. So we're gonna start on the tip here, curve down and then in. Now I'm gonna pull this over, curving up, and then we'll taper that back down with a short curve. Now we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, curving over and out. We're gonna pull this back in and down. Now let's do that again. We're gonna go over again. We're gonna pull that back down towards the right. Now I'm gonna add one more going in towards this area here. We go up and then pull this down a little bit further. Now we're gonna work with the curve of the hair going towards the right. We're gonna go over towards the right and pull this down. We'll do one more spike going out. We pull this all the way down to right about here to the same height as we have on the left. Now from here, I just wanna curve up towards the tip of that spike. So now that we've drawn in the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start with the large metal collar first. So directly in the center, just below the chin, I'm gonna draw a straight line coming down. Now from here, I wanna curve up towards the side of the collar. I'm gonna go out. Now I wanna leave a little bit of space underneath the chin. And from here, we're gonna go straight up underneath the chin. Now I'm gonna take this curve and just duplicate it up above. So we're gonna step up down and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the center point, I just wanna draw a short angled line coming out towards the left, towards that line. Do the same thing on the right. And we're gonna take these points and just pull them straight down towards the bottom. Now from this point in the collar, I'm gonna step in, just follow that same curve coming in behind this angled line. Do the same thing on the right. In this area here, I'm gonna add two circles, one above the other. So at the top, we're gonna add a circle. At the bottom, we'll add a circle. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're filling these circles in black. Now in the bottom area, I'm just gonna add one more, right in the middle. Now I'm gonna separate the facets of the collar. So from this line, I'm gonna step over towards the left, draw one line, and we're gonna move over again and draw one more. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the top of these lines, I'm just gonna angle up and in. Now that we've drawn the collar, let's work in the side of the body. From the corners of the collar, we're gonna step down and just curve out and down towards the hip. So from this point, I'm gonna step down, curve out, and then down. On the right, we'll do the same. So stepping down, curve 
out and then down. We're going to connect those two points with a curve coming down the middle and back up on the right. We're going to step up and then draw that same curve for the top of the belt. Now in the center of the body, we're going to draw a straight line coming down towards the top of the belt. Now let's add that detail on the side of the body. From the top of this line, I'm just going to draw a short angle line coming down and then in. And from here, I'm going to draw a line coming straight down to right about here. Now we're going to pull a straight line in towards the top corner of the belt. Now we're just going to trim this out on the outside. Stepping down, angling in, coming down, and then angling out. Now I'm going to add some detail to the belt. So I'm going to leave a gap in the center. On the left side, I'll draw a straight line. And then on the right, we'll draw a straight line. Now on either side, we're going to draw two more lines coming down side by side. I want to add a rectangle on the top and bottom. So from the top corner of the buckle, we're going to step in, draw a short line coming down on either side. Then we're going to close this off with a straight line. We're going to do the opposite on the bottom. Draw two short lines on the side. Go straight across the middle. Now in between, in the center here, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down. Now let's continue working down with the legs. So in the middle, we're going to step down and draw a curve from left to right for the lower torso. On the left, we're going to step in, curve down and out towards the left heel. We'll go down and out towards the right heel. Now from here, we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're going to curve down and pull that back up. Now on the left side, we're going to take this line and just curve over the top of the foot and then just aim down. So we're sort of aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. Now from the hip, we're going to curve out the leg and then down towards the top of the foot. Curving out and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the toe, we're going to go up and just pull this over. And then from the hip, we're going to curve out and then down. Now I want to thicken up the sole. So I'm going to take this curve and just duplicate it right up above. Then just above the top of the foot, we're going to step up and draw a curve from the outside of the leg. Curve down and then back up on the inside. From this end of the line, we're going to step out and just draw a straight line going up. Now I'm going to add a toe cap from the bottom of the outside of the leg, right at the top of the foot, we're going to curve in and then just pull that down. Now just above the cuff of the boot, we're going to step up and just draw that same curve going across from the bottom of the knee pad. Now we're going to step up and draw that same curve going across. In the center of the body, just underneath the belt, we're going to go straight down towards the lower torso. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. So we're going to have the arms bent out in fists. So we're going to start at the bottom corner of the collar. We're going to curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then down towards the inner part of the elbow. From here, we're going to curve the upper part of the forearm. Curving up towards the wrist. Now here, we're going to add the thumb. From this point, I'm going to go up and we're going to pull that down, almost like drawing an oval. And now we're going to pull this up about halfway along that curve. From here, I'm just going to hook this back in towards the wrist. Now let's stack the fingers in behind the thumb. So on the side of the thumb, I'm going to draw a half oval, going out and then back in. Draw another one. So at the bottom of this finger, we're going to go out, in, and then I'm going to curl this in underneath the thumb. Do that one more time, going out, in, and then pulling that back up. Now at the bottom of this finger, I'm going to curve the bottom of the hand up and towards the top wrist point. Going down, and I'm going to curve that back up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we start with the upper forearm, curving down, and then back up. Let's add the thumb, go up, down, now we're going to curl this back up, and then from here I'm just going to hook this in towards the palm. Now let's stack the fingers in behind the thumb. On the side of the thumb, I'm going to draw a half oval. 
at the bottom of the finger, we're gonna go out again, curving around the thumb and then back up. So do that one more time. Now at the bottom of this finger, we're gonna curve around in towards the wrist. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the lower part of the arm. So at the bottom of the fist, we're gonna curve down and then in. We're gonna leave a little space here because we're gonna draw an angled line going up in behind the body. Do the same thing on the right side. Curve down, then in. And we're gonna angle up and in behind the body. From the wrist line, I'm gonna step in and draw another curve. From the edge of the glove, we'll do that on both sides. Now from the inside of the elbow to the point in the elbow down here, we're gonna draw a curve from top to bottom. Now we're gonna draw on the upper part of the elbow pad. So from this point, we're gonna step up and curve across and then in behind the body. Let's add a stripe on the upper part of the arm. So from this point, we're gonna step in and just follow that same curve coming down to the top of the elbow pad. Do the same thing on the right side. We do the same on the legs. So stepping in underneath the belt, we'll curve down towards the knee pad. I want to add a small tiny pouch on the side of the belt. So about halfway down the belt, I'm going to go straight out towards the arm. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to curve with the curve of the leg coming down. And we'll pull that in towards the leg straight line and there we have it there's a Zuku from My Hero Academia I hope you enjoyed today's lesson make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon